Lilith opposition to Neptune. When you got Lilith opposition to Neptune, Neptune is spiritual, it's dreamy, it's, it's deep emotions. And so when Lilith is in this state, it's opposing that. Lilith don't want to deal with that. Lilith want to do it, do what it won't. Lilith going to run around here and want to deceive and be in an illusional state, escapist, and think. Lilith want to say, I'm the powerful source. Ain't nobody can stop me. I'm unstoppable. Instead of little, little realizing its spiritual essence of really what it, what it really is, so little, little got to realize that it's spirit and that flesh is temporary. So when little is opposition to Neptune, this right here deals with unhealed wounds, people who've been traumatized. And people who start to love it, they feed into it. They fall into the, the, the delusion of it. So to heal yourself, you have to know yourself. When they say know thyself, for this placement here, once you know yourself, you can be the healer yourself. Not only heal your own wounds, you can be a healer yourself and heal others. Because this energy here is very powerful. It's a spiritual energy, subconscious. It's the subconscious, Neptune. So when Lilith overturn these traumas, it gives you the ability, the psychic gifts, to read people, to know people also. So even though you thinking that anger is it, uh, being into a rage, staying into your emotional fantasy world is it, you have to come down to earth. When you know yourself, you come down to the earthly plane and balance it out. And you got to confront your reality and face it. And this is how you win. You got to face self-delusions. And this will help heal your deep emotional wounds. So you might like troubled people or toxic people because you might find that attractive. Uh, deceptive people attractive. You might be around them a lot. And... If they project this energy on you, you might project it in your relationship and run your partner off. But also you might mess with a person of that statue, of that statue of position, which means they can be toxic, just like you. Now y'all going back and forth, fighting. So that being said, to win this, you have to uh, transform yourself because you can transform yourself on a deeper level than most, your shadow self. Yes. Because you got to understand that this is a very powerful place, man. You deal with dreams. You deal with illusions. So, it deal with art. It's creative. It's beautiful. It's charming. But the way you might see beauty in a different way, being rebellious, trying to always fight for your freedom, being independent, uh, might use sex as your beauty and indulge in all these pleasures that can tear you down. It creates tension. So you have to balance this emotion out by knowing yourself. You overcome fears, desires, and you learn to express yourself. Once you learn to express yourself, your emotions, because it's very deep, this is how you win. Because you got little treat Neptune like an enemy. So the way little treat Neptune, little want to be on the dark side. And Neptune want to be spiritual and want to understand the spiritual nature. So once you understand yourself and bond with Neptune, not to fight against it no more, after war, it becomes peace and unity and harmony, this is how you win. This is how you win because then you become the most attractive person, most beautiful person, most creative person, and also you have spiritual awakening because you had to discover yourself. So self-discovery self means a lot. And it's free you from illusions. And it integrates your personal growth, your healing, and your spiritual evolution. So by you tapping into this energy, by you confront your illusions, by you breaking down your subconscious patterns and understanding it, and coming in tune with it and start fighting against it and warring against it and coming in harmony, this is how you win. And this is how you heal. And this is how you defeat your illusional self. So little, you can win with this placement when you know yourself. You got to know that self. 
and use divine principles and concepts is how you win with this placement. You become the most psychic person on earth, read everything around you, and you don't have to indulge into being an alcoholic or being so earthly, so material. And you can, when you know yourself, you feel a sense of purpose, a sense of why I'm here is the ultimate truth is spirit. So with that being said, you understand your divine nature. The dark side, you could transform it into pure light, like purple light, ultraviolet rays light, high vibrational light that can heal not only yourself, but others all around you. So this right here is a very powerful placement because you only get caught up in the sexity of this placement. You only get caught in the illusion of this placement. You only get caught so deep into that. You can turn sex into something spiritual. And don't look at it as bad. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be ashamed of your emotions. Don't be ashamed of nothing. And then you will understand that toxicity ain't good for you. You understand the beauty side of life, not the ugly side. So that's when Lila bond with Neptune, not oppose it or fight it. Good for you to connect with nature. It's good for you to connect with nature. Work on accepting yourself for who you are and find ways to communicate, express yourself. It's good to be in tune with all the elements, water, that's a very important element, earth, air, the sun, and nature. Being out of nature all helps. Yeah, so with that being said, I'm out.